Rich here. I haven't done a watch video in a while, but I got this one, so I'm going to show it. Uh, it's about this guy, F84W. You can buy this one, but you can't buy this one, <laughs> or not easily anyway. Uh, let me talk about this F28 real quick. Very difficult to find. I bought this new years ago. It's only a clock. It does not have a nightlight. Uh, it does not beep. It very it's just a clock, which is great. But when it went out, when it went out of production, it just freaking vanished. You can't. Yeah, you can sometimes spot them on eBay. Oh, why? Why the NATO straps? Well, I'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, you can't find these, uh, or very rarely do you find them on uh, eBay. And when you do, they're really beat up. Mine is a little bit used. It's got just a few minor dings on it. Uh, I won't get rid of it though, because I've seen guys selling these things for a hundred bucks for a seven dollar watch. Really? Well, anyway, does not have a metal case back. It's actually plastic, and it's a snap off, uh, snap back case, which is kind of interesting for uh, F28W. Anyway, for the longest time, I've been looking for something that has this type of case shape, and da da, there it is is the F84. Now this one, it's identical to the F91W. If you know the F91W, you know this watch already. So I'm not going to do a demonstration of the functions of it. Everybody knows, or anyone that's ever owned a Casio has probably owned an F91W. And uh, if you've used it, it's like I said, the feature set is identical, except for the case shape. Now you'll notice it's basically the same case slightly smaller than the F91 uh, and slightly thinner and not exactly uh, it's less loud and the best part in my opinion is that this models itself after a true 1980s watch now the F91W technically not an 80s watch it's a 90s watch 1991 it was released and but this one is patterned after the F87W. The F87 was released in 1986. The only difference between the 87 and this guy right here is that it has a blue border instead of a red border. The 87 has a red. This is a blue. That's the only difference. Func uh, functionally identical. Well, that and it's made in Thailand and not Japan. That's the only two differences between the uh, 87 and this 84. Yes, you can buy this 84 new. Uh, can you buy it in the United States? No. I had to order this from Japan. And this is the JDM packaging that it comes with. Uh, it's very basic. You can tell because it's got the, uh, the hang tag on it. And that's what JDM packaging looks like for the F84. Uh, if this was a North American packaging, it would be would have come in a box. Uh, if it was in other countries like Italy or Spain, possibly a uh, pouch. But for Japan, it comes out of a just simple plastic and with a hang tag. And that's what you get when you get it from Japan. Uh, is it expensive at the time I record this? No, it's about between thirteen to fifteen dollars. If you want one, it's on eBay. Just search for Casio F eighty four W, and yeah, you'll find it. It is. Let me see if I can get really close on it. This is a. It's. I wrote about this on my website. This is the most eighties thing Casio has released in the last thirty four years. This is absolutely. crazy crazy 80 styling on this one uh this one was already f28 this was crazy 80 style this this is even further because you got the uh well it says lithium on both of them but that's got the little symbol to promote the fact that's to promote the fact it has an alarm because that was a big deal in the 80s like oh wow this has an alarm really like yeah just standard water resistance 30 meter uh the backlight is incandescent it's not the uh, electroluminescent, so it's got that green bulb in it. Uh, again, same. It's exactly the same as the F91 as far as function is concerned, but the look, the the uh, overall look of this piece, 
Oh, yeah, and it does have a steel case back, by the way. So it's easy to change the battery in this, just like it. And, oh, the strap. This is the last thing I'll say. Why the NATO straps? Well, okay, on this guy, even though I did not wear it that much, the strap over time, just after a few years, crumbled apart. Oh, I was sad when that happened. Now, I have the strap for this one. I took it off, and I put the NATO on it. I do not want that strap crumbling apart. So I just saved it, and I threw the NATO on it, and it works fine. Uh, it is an 18 millimeter lug space for those of you that want to throw a NATO on this. So, simple. No problem. It works. So there you go. F84W, patterned after the F87 from 1986, and a look at another look at my F28. Uh, if you do come across an F28 in good shape, you can't buy it new, but if you do come across one, grab it, because uh, hard to come by.